I have a serious question to ask. What is up with all the chaos and with all the fighting between East African and Horn of African countries? Like, why are we going at each other like there's no tomorrow? Let's start from Uganda, taking Kenya to East African court. The reason behind it is because of fuel import. Kenya denied Uganda a permit in order to operate in the country as well as export the fuel. Second one, Burundi closing its borders with Rwanda. And the reason they're giving is because Burundi is accusing their neighboring country, Rwanda, for supporting rebels who carried out attacks in their soil. And thirdly, Tanzania banning Kenya Airways flight and then lifting the ban. The reason why they put the ban is because of a retaliation against Kenya Airways. And the reason is because KQ refused to grant a request to Tanzania's Air Tanzania to operate cargo flights. And fourth, and this is the most recent one, Somalia denying airspace to Ethiopian Airlines. And the reason behind that is because of a deal that the Ethiopian government made with Somaliland, which Somalia considers as part of their territory. And the agreement was signed in January 1st, 2024. And in that agreement between Ethiopia and Somaliland, that agreement ensures or allows Ethiopia to lease one of Somaliland's port. And Somalia is not very happy about that because Somalia considers Somaliland as part of their territory and they're not happy with Ethiopia making that deal with Somaliland. Hence why they denied airspace. Just this happened a few hours ago. They denied airspace to Ethiopian Airlines. Last but not least, the Democratic Republic of Congo's president, President Felix, calling Rwanda's president Kagame Hitler. Yeah, and that is because he is accusing Rwanda of, um, you know, making a mess in DRC and funding rebels. Like, what is happening? Why is there so much chaos and why are we at each other's throats like this and why are we sabotaging one another and why are we hurting one another and why are we suing one another like it is so chaotic and this is the start of 2024 like we're still in january it's the beginning of the year and look at us fighting one another this um, obviously is extremely sad and it makes you feel like, oh my God, like, will we ever unite? If East Africa, one corner of Africa can't even agree with one another and we're fighting one another, how are we going to demand or ask or request the whole of Africa to come together? It feels like it's just a dream. But let me tell you something, I, as much as it's a sad um, report right now and I'm not really happy with the things that I'm talking about, let me remind you, this is just a hiccup. We might feel something, we might feel sad, we might not agree with what our governments are doing, we might not agree with what the neighboring government is doing, but be sure that we are awakening the people that is. The governments, to some extent, are a representation of us but we have seen that they are they are not representing us the best way that is possible and we're not happy with the moves that they've been making right so i want us to mourn to be unhappy for the moment temporarily when things like this happen we might need to push back we might need to call out our governments we might we might need to call out our brothers and sisters but at the end of the day we have to remember what the end goal is and when that end goal comes, all of us are going to be satisfied. Until then, we have to compromise. We have to have a conversation. We have to preach unity because this conversation is extremely important 
and it is needed in the long run. Right now, we might feel it, as I said earlier, because it's frustrating. I'm frustrated. But don't let this discourage you into thinking that Africa will never unite. That's a lie from the enemy and we're not going to accept it. But we're going to call it out. We should call out the evil when we see it. We should call out in ourselves when we see us acting up in a way where it doesn't serve the whole of Africa and the whole community and our race. We need to call it out, but don't give up. I, I refuse to accept that Africans will never come together. It's not going to be in my vocabulary and I hope it's not going to be in your vocabulary as well.